Down at the Australian Maritime College presently, we have five students partaking in the Cert 3 Maritime Operations, which is the master up to 24 metre course being run here. By the end of this financial year, the AMC will have 10 people trained to this level. This qualification will allow successful candidates to be a master of a vessel up to 24 metres. They can be a deck watchkeeper on a vessel up to 30 metres in the exclusive economic zone or the same equivalent on a vessel up to 80 metres in inshore areas. Some of the skill sets being delivered here at the Australian Maritime College down at Beauty Point include seamanship, navigation, uh, today we're doing damage control, things like cargo lifting are being delivered today out here. A lot of different aspects will be delivered in preparation for the orals which are commencing just in a few days. So participants can come down here to Tasmania, participate in two parts, part A and part B, uh, both some with more practical elements, some with more theoretical based elements. But they basically have students down here for about a two and a half month period which is quite an intensive effort. The participants that have come down so far, we've had two that are just about to complete the entire course, another three that are starting their block A. Uh, and they will finish their course in the, in the new year of 2016. I'm a decky on one of the passenger ferries um, and hoping to be a master in the near future. Yeah. So basically just take passengers from one island to Thursday Island. It wasn't easy, I'll tell you that, um, pretty full on. There's a lot to cover in um, nine weeks. Very good experience though, uh, glad I did it. I have to be uh, the vessel handling getting to drive all the different boats, got a jet boat and um, bar crushers, uh, single screw, twin screw, getting to learn and get the feel of all the different um, boats. Yeah. Pretty full on, um, but I suppose they walk you through it and good experience, learning different ways how to um, stop your boat from sinking. I think to me it's the chart work would have to be the best part to me personally, simply because um, yeah, I've I've learned it a while back in school, and I've it's all that knowledge sort of just you know been stored away and hasn't been used. So coming back here and refreshing it and getting on top of it again, yeah, it's just. Um, yeah, it just made me aware of how important it is, You're, even though you've got all these electronic, um, you know, GPS and whatever else, radar and so forth around you, the, chart, the old school chart work is still as important as those. For the last four years I've been um, prey fishing, so I've, I've got a, a primary vessel about 14.8 metres, and um, yeah, just working working locally up in the Straits, uh, cray fishing. Yeah, so I guess coming down here has just opened the mind up a bit more as to how involved it is, documentation, safe working practices. Um, yeah, so it's not just jumping in the water and going fishing or taking the boat out and anchoring up and going fishing, but all these other uh, things that I've got to be aware of. This last bit, part B, has been a lot more hands-on. Um, driving vessels, um, different types of vessels. Um, you know, you got the displacements, the semi-displacements, and um, Planning house, so yeah, it's, it's yeah, a lot of lot of theory, but also a lot of practical stuff too, which just ties it all together, brings it back home. We finished the the course on a, on Friday for the Master 24, and then uh, we have uh, two representatives from AMSA turn up uh, at AMC on Monday, and, and they do we do a practical orals assessment. So it's uh, so it's not your traditional orals where they sit down and, and ask questions over the over the counter. Uh, it's more of a, an applied type of type of assessment where the students have a number of stations that they have to complete with with four assessors, two from AMC and two from AMSA. And uh, the students rotate through those and it's they might take the boat for a drive and do some emergency drills and uh, they might uh, ask a number of questions about uh, the, the vessel design and construction and stability and they have a, another station for navigation and ask questions about that and, and uh, do a passage plan. and. And so it's a, it's a familiar environment for the students after they've spent eight weeks here at AMC working on those vessels and then, uh, and then doing the orals assessment on those vessels. They, they're a lot more relaxed, as relaxed as they can be for that, for that uh, part of their training and, and assessment. I passed. <laughs>
The training has been recognised locally and nationally as a highly effective training model with the use of dedicated training resources, dedicated training vessels, state-of-the-art equipment to ensure that people who get through these courses are doing so you know, with the highest possible uh, qualification. The coursework has also produced unprecedented student retention. Uh, basically everyone who's come down to do the courses in Tasmania has passed and we're hoping that in a few days time there's going to be a couple of people that get through their orals and are ready to really go and showcase their skills back up in the Torres Strait. Captaining, skippering boats in their own waters in the fishing industry. Up in the Torres Strait we have vibrant industry in Cayer or tropical rock lobster. The fin fish industry, nearshore coastal trading such as the barges and that sort of thing that operate amongst the islands and potentially the offshore shipping industry. I'd recommend doing a course, um, doing a Master 5 course. You, um, you learn a lot um, and if you are, you're keen to work in that industry or you know, work there, do that, um, do the course. You know, I mean, even if you don't want to be a master straight away, it's a good ticket to have and you know, I mean, big responsibilities but it's rewarding. Definitely have a look at it if you're interested in it, definitely give it a shot. I know they run the Coxman course, so they definitely have a go with that. And if you feel as though that interest is and that eagerness of doing it is there, still definitely carry on and do the master. It's it's a course that's available to us, and and uh, we're definitely in an area and industry that waters all around us. So why wouldn't you?